What's going on everybody and welcome to a new video. I apologize for the inactivity over the past couple of weeks. I kind of had to take some time to think about what I wanted to do for the rest of Madden 18 and into Madden 19. I kind of fell into a mindset that I thought nobody really had interest in learning about Madden 18 anymore just purely based off of kind of what was being said in the community at that time. Uh, but I think that that's not the case and I think that that was a bad mindset for me to fall into. I think there are people who still want to learn about the game and even if that's a small percentage of the actual you know overall community if I can help them out then that's what I would like to do on this channel going forward so uh, that's going to be the plan for the rest of Madden 18. So I just wanted to start the video off by saying that but getting into the actual video I have a quick pass here for you guys I form pro and the play is called corner strike now uh, this play is only found in the run balanced playbook so it's a play that there's like no way your opponent's going to be expecting this whenever you pull it out on him and the route that you want to notice is the Tavon Austin basically a C route out of the backfield by the running back it's like a little circle route and you're going to be able to pass lead that uh, basically inside as he cuts up against zone coverage and then the man-to-man -man coverage timing is a little bit different but I'll go over that in the video I'll go ahead and show you guys zone first so we got cover four here I'll show you cover two as well as cover three but we'll just go ahead and start off with cover two and really, a lot of people go ahead and put their middle linebacker in like a deep third, and that actually, you know, runs him out of the play even more because he's moving away from the route. But we'll go ahead and just do normal stock cover two here, and you'll be able to see how this works. So, snap at the ball, move the pocket to the right a little bit, inside pass lead right there to Tavon Austin. I actually threw it a little bit late, but it was still effective. Uh, you kind of want to throw it against zone coverage before he starts chopping his feet. Uh, but what you're going to see now, the what, the first thing to notice is at the snap of the ball, I move the pocket to the right. And now there's two reasons for this. One, uh, if you don't move the pocket to the right and you just do the stock drop back, when you throw this ball at such a short throw, your quarterback sometimes will throw like a shovel pass. And it's a really slow and deliberate animation. And so it's a slow animation and then the ball comes out slower. So the defenders have more time to react. And then the second reason is for man-to-man -man coverage. I'll go over that a little bit later. But uh, as you can see here, inside pass lead against cover two, the outside vertical hooks dropping back are have they're on the outside. So there's no way Anthony Barr here is going to be able to make a play on an inside pass lead coming from Goff. On top of the fact that you know you 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 move the pocket, so you kind of have a better angle. As you can see, Tavon starts chopping his feet. You kind of want to throw it a little bit, before, like a, a half second probably before that, uh, because you want him to keep his momentum. If, if Tavon wasn't chopping his feet you would have been able to keep your momentum and you know run a little bit of uh, right here that kind of slowed his momentum he had to turn around and he got tackled but as you can see still an easy five yard gain and that's really what you're going to see from this play is a nice consistent really three to five yards and so I'll try and show you one more time against cover two here inside pass lead and like that you can keep your momentum if you throw it a little sooner and get you know 12 or 13 yards so cover two it's going to be there every single time. I'll go ahead and show you guys cover three. Now, the hook curls from cover three do a little bit of a better job, uh, you know, taking away this route, but you're still able to throw that. You're going to take a hit right there. Tavon held on, so it's good to have a, a running back with solid catching. Obviously, Tavon used to be a receiver, although his catching is not super great. But um, that is, you know, you do have the potential to kind of take a hit by a linebacker right there. He came up and really smacked him. That's uh, Kendricks right there. So, as you can see, cover three is probably the zone coverage that defends it the best just because of where the hook curls are at. And right there, you saw I didn't move the pocket, and he kind of got at that shovel pass animation. It ended up working out right there, uh, but I like to try and avoid it. And so, I'll go ahead and show you guys one more time against cover three here. And like, you know, so I went, what, three for four right there. So, it can be tough if you're taking those consistent hits, but obviously, it's not something you want to rely on every down. Um, but it can still be effective to get you know that three or five yard gain now against cover four obviously uh, With a lot of deep defenders and nobody underneath It's probably the worst defense to try and defend it right there uh, Kendricks was still able to make a nice play, but that's an easy three yards You're not getting lit up as you catch it like you are in cover three And so you're still able to go ahead and throw that inside pass lead Get up the field for five yards So as you can see cover two cover three cover four it works pretty consistently So we'll go ahead and show you two man under and so here's the reason you want to move the pocket to the right and it's going to be against man to man so i'll show you guys kind of how i like to try and throw this ball right there he kind of got caught up a little bit and that can happen in man to man i'll try and show you one more time sometimes because it's a route out the backfield madden 18 uh, the running backs can get caught up on the lineman or caught up on you know the fullback or whatever 
So sometimes the route doesn't come out super cleanly. So you just have to be ready to account for that. So right there, that's the timing you want against man to man. I'll go ahead and show you that in instant replay. And I'll show you why I'm moving the pocket. So the reason you have to move the pocket to the right is because your fullback on this play, if you run it stock, is blocking. And so against man to man coverage, uh, his man defender, and I, I believe it's Kendricks in this case, he's going to convert since his, you know, receiver is blocking he's going to become a quarterback spy so you have to move the pocket to the right to get him out the way if you if you just straight drop back and Kendricks is sitting in the middle of the field and you try to throw this ball to Tavon Austin he's going to be able to make a play on it and deliver a hit or you know jump it and pick it off or something so you want to move the pocket to the right to get him out of the way and give Austin on the left a little more space to work with and then that's what you want to do as soon as Austin starts chopping his feet so you don't want to throw it before he starts chopping so as he starts chopping that's when you throw it and it almost becomes like a curl route as you can see bar doesn't stop his momentum in time bar still running back as austin's chopping his feet and so you just throw it austin stops get the pose i usually possession catch it because you're going to get hit right after and bar's able to recover but that's still an easy five yards against that man-to-man -man coverage and that's what you're going to get uh, more times than not it's just you just have to get the timing and be comfortable with it like i said sometimes the route out the backfield can get mixed up but right there once again you see it's pretty consistent. Now, cover one is probably uh, the hardest defense to run this against. I would say if you notice cover one, uh, you probably want to go elsewhere um, because of the fact that now there's going to be the spy as well as the three receiver hook in the area. So it just really muddies it up right there. Uh, Tavon wasn't able to react. But as you can see, just it's very congested. I don't really feel comfortable making that throw uh, against cover one too often. Right there, the pressure came in really quickly for some reason. I'll try to show you guys this example against cover one. It's still definitely like you can still complete this pass like right there. It's just a little harder because that three receiver hook like you saw uh, is going to is going to be able to be there and make a play on the ball. So if I see cover one, a lot of times you have to diagnose it quickly. Uh, but I'll look for Sammy Watkins on the C route on the left side. Go ahead and throw like a low pass as he cuts right there and uh, try and get that inside or outside positioning on the C route. Uh, that's usually my go-to, my fallback option if I see cover one. So as you can see, very effective. Cover two, cover three, cover four. Very effective against zone coverage. Man-to-man, -man, a little different timing window, but still effective. And just be wary about, you know, this is something I wouldn't go to consistently. I would bring it out, you know, when I really needed a few yards. Because once you want run it once, your opponent's going to be on it. And it's an easy route to jump if they know it's coming. But uh, the threat is that they won't know it's coming because it's a very rare play that's only in you know one playbook so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was able to help some of you guys out as always thank you so much for watching guys and until next time take it easy